Well, what is up guys? Today I am doing uh, my second ever Q&A on this channel. I did my first one when I first started the channel like six or seven months ago. And uh, 2015, I'm going to start us off with a Q&A. I asked your questions on Facebook and this is how they came in. Let's go. Boom. First question comes from Ollie Ginty. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. What do you think of Team of the Year? Well obviously Team of the Year came out like last week. I did a video on it as well, just my predictions of what I thought was going to, you know, the team was going to lay out. Um, yeah, I'm happy with the whole team in total pretty much besides David Luiz because there's no reason he should be in there, to be honest. I think players like Hamels and Boateng deserve to be in there. But yeah, besides that, maybe Iniesta because I think he's just in there because he's been there for like three or four seasons now. But I think his time's gone. He's still a good player, but like, oh, there's just so many better midfielders than him at the moment. But, oh well, can't change that, can I? But yeah, it's a pretty good team of the year. The next question comes in from Jay Barnfield. It says, Ronaldo or Emil Heskey? Obviously. Next question comes in from Jake Smith. It says, fave player of all time. Oh, Christ. It's got to be Steven Gerrard, Liverpool fan. Gerrard's just been my favourite player since, you know, little boy. But three of the players that I really like, Tony Cruz, Paul Pogba, and... Oh, that's the last one, the toughie. Probably Luis Suarez. Controversial. Who cares? Next question comes in from Jamie Woodmass. Says, what decent players have you packed yet in Team of the Year? I have opened 2.3 million coins worth, I think. Maybe more of the packs. The best player I packed was Diego Costa. And I got two in forms, but they were just both awful. So the best player I've packed is Diego Costa. Awful. Mark L Lata. Lata asks, Ronaldo or Messi? And explain why. For me, Ronaldo. Most people say probably Ronaldo as well. Proves himself in two different leagues, Ballon d'Or winner, but so is Messi. Just all round a better athlete. Like if you came up, if you saw Messi in the street, like you bumped soldiers, you wouldn't be scared of him. If you did it with Ronaldo, I'd be pretty scared. But yeah, Ronaldo for me, uh, and that's why. Uh, how did David Luiz get in Team of the Year? Uh, basically, if you don't know how Team of the Year is voted for, it's voted by 10,000 players. So if obviously. 10,000 players have enjoyed playing with him or seen him play and thought it was good to, I really don't know. Uh, his free kick again, in, uh, against, was it Costa Rica or Chile? It was unreal. But besides that, losing 7 ones to Germany, defending, just, he's not a step in the back and he's just didn't deserve team of the year. A non football related one now. Ben Godsell, oh, Godsell says, for 300 million, which have a sex change? Yes. And then when I get the 300 million, have a sex change back. Uh, Mark Larter asks, what made you start YouTube and who is your YouTube inspiration? I explain why. I started YouTube because the channel before didn't go well, so I wanted to start it again and sort of make better content for you guys and it's going well. So it's been much better than my last couple of channels, so uh, you know, up, upwards and onwards. And YouTube inspiration? It's got someone like Mini Minter, someone who only had 90k subs like a year ago and now he's on a million. Like honestly, really good YouTuber and great inspiration. Ethan Ward says, will this be in your video? I guess so. Who would you rather live with? Messi and KSI or Ronaldo and Rose Shaw? Uh, probably Messi and KSI just because I know Rose Shaw is quite young. Maybe quite messy and I think, oh, hey, but no. Um, but I think, yeah, Messi and KSI because I think KSI would be cleaner than Red Shaw and Messi seems a lot of, I, I don't know, it's tough. I think Messi would be easy to live with. Lee McMahoon, I don't know if I said that right. What's your best pack pool? Um, if you haven't seen my video below, I'll leave a link. And it was, go watch it to find out. Uh, so guys, I hope you have enjoyed this Q&A. Um, I will try and release it as quick as possible. It's been a while since I've done one, like I said, almost half a year. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, follow me on Twitter down below, Instagram, Snapchat, Skype, all of those things. And uh, yeah.